Now, Amazulu King, Mrs. Zuluka Zvelitini, has officially tied the knot with his first wife, Dogoz Maisela, in a traditional wedding. Last year, royal family elders paid lobola to the Maisela family in Newcastle, and the couple later registered their union at home affairs. For more on this, we're joined by traditional activist Mkulisi Mchali. Mkulisi, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us. Perhaps just take us through the significance of the ceremony that many of us witnessed uh, yesterday, and that is Umembeso. Um, thank you for having me. Um, first of all, one needs to understand the importance of uh, the process. So what we saw uh, yesterday is the fact that the king do trust the process. Um, when one needs to understand the full picture um, of, 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 of marriage uh, in, our, in our understanding as Zulu people. When you marry someone, you're not just marrying that particular person, but you are marrying that person with the family as a whole. So um, the, the rest of the family is not there in the rivers when a, a, a boy meets the girl. But through these processes, um, like in Lobolo, where uh, the, the, the male part of the family discuss in Lobolo, it's, it's, it's the male part from the groom side and, 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 and the bride side. So they are discussing uh, in Lobolo. Then after that, um, the next step will be Umembes, the one that we saw. So in Umembes, so that one is coordinated by uh, the female side of, 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 of the families. So in that way, both um, uh, 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 the male part of the families and the female part of the family get a, an opportunity to know each other through this engagement. So at this stage where we are now at uh, Umembes, it's not the final stage. There is another stage where, which we call Umtuan. And that w by looking at the location, the fact that um, it was not in, 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 in uh, Ama, Ama, Amazuru Royal House, it's, it shows you that it's not the final stage. Because the last um, uh, stage, the final stage, will be there at, uh, at the Royal House. So um, what, where we are now, it, 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 it's just a process of, of, of finalizing or going towards this, uh, the big day that we are looking forward to. Mm. The other thing, Mkolisi, that hasn't been lost on us is the fact that the ceremony uh, is taking place ahead of the king's coronation. And I'm curious if there's any significance uh, with regards to that. I mean, does that sequence have any bearing on the king's ascension to the throne? I mean, is it a necessity for him to be married or in some kind of marital process uh, before taking on the throne and the responsibilities that come with it? Um, not necessarily, it's not necessarily, it's, it's not a must, um, but as, as, as uh, the Zulu people, uh, okay, let me make a, an example with the Tosa people. With the Tosa people, um, when you come back from the mountain, then uh, you will be recognized as a man. Um, with Zulu people, um, you are recognized as a man when, when you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are married. Um, but that is not uh, necessarily the case with the king, because when you look back you, uh, in history, you can see that some other kings were, were, were kings before they, 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 they got uh, Abol Jumbur. Mm. You've already mentioned that traditional wedding customs are, in fact, you know, rarely about the couple and, and, and more so about the coming together of these two families. The interesting dynamic, Olisa, that we witnessed yesterday was the coming together of the Amazulu royal family itself. Um, and I'm curious about beliefs around weddings. Are they known to have that kind of influence on families where there was once an element of discord? Uh, they, do they have this ability to bring uh, people together? Love has that ability. Love, love um, stop wars. That love does. Well, that's what love does. So, yes, it does. I, I, I believe it does. And whatever query they, they may have, but at the end of the day, they are the family. So, uh, another thing, I think we, we, we jump uh, into conclusion with things, uh, with what is happening in the royal family, and forget that those people are the family at the end of the day. Mm. What role will the new queen, Undozum Maisela, be expected to, to fill in this case? I mean, she's wife to a new king who's ascending to this role. 
but he's ascending to the throne after a significant period of as I mentioned earlier, family division and contestation. Uh, and so she's coming into this environment. Uh, what role will she be expected to play? Getting into uh, the throne. It, 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 we will always find that. Uh, it's not something new. It's something, it's, it's, it's something that is known. Um, and we are not worried about that. Um, the queen will be the mother of the nation. That's what the queen is. She will be the mother of the nation. It doesn't matter what happened before, but her role will be the mother. It's the space where everyone will go and cry to, to our mother, the queen. Yeah. Something else that we learned very interestingly Olisi, yesterday was the fact that uh, even though we were witnessing this traditional wedding ceremony, this traditional wedding custom, that elements of it have in fact evolved over time and I'm curious about how the Amazulu royal family is carrying on these traditions and practices which were very important to the late King Goodwill Zuli Tindika Zulu. How are they ensuring that these cultural pra practices, these customs, the heritage that the Zulu nation has is being carried forward into the future? Um. The step that the king took of, of, of doing members, it shows that as a custodian of, 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 of this custom, of this culture, um, he, 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 he's willing to practice it. So having him in the throne, it shows that everything will continue as his father was continuing. So he will take, he's taken from what his father was doing. We know quite a number of things that his father was doing to preserve the culture. And I, 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 I believe in him that he will see into it that as Amazulu, we don't lose um, what we are and what we are known of, of being proud of our culture. Well, Ngolisi, thank you so much. We are going to leave it there. That's traditional. Uh, activist and archivist Ngolisi um, Mchali joining us there to talk to us about the significance of the Umembeso ceremony that we witnessed yesterday.